Welcome back to the Black Parade. I finally, my uh, episodes and the ends of missions are coinciding again, so we get uh, a new mission starting right now. Mission four is going to be. Guess I'll find out. <laughs> Let the manfuls dig the ground and keep piling their dead. Let their rotting corpses nourish the earth. Let the forgotten grow the vine between earth and stone. Let the vine reap what the mantles have sown. It appears my new employer is pleased with my success, and now wants me to get him another trinket. Rumor has it, a fabled ruby known as Aldrius' demise was buried with its eponymous owner in a complex of catacombs and vaults deep below Stone Market. The place was condemned decades ago after it fell to ruin and became haunted. And no one dares to go except corpse dodgers and maybe a few would-be tomb raiders. It would be wise to get my hands on some holy water if I want to avoid complications. Victoria managed to find a raw sketch of the place from the original Hammer plans. I have no idea if it's accurate, since it was one of many possible variations of the final construction. Knowing the Hammerites, the place is probably rigged and filled with all manner of traps to dissuade plunderers such as myself. I'd better be cautious and tread softly. Since these tombs were built for wealthy merchants, there's bound to be riches down there. Let's hope the competition didn't make off with them before I get there. I don't like this. I'm risking my neck for some stone I'm not even sure is there, and I can't bail out like any sane person would. This ordeal won't be easy. All right, loving the idea of a burn horde mission. Death's dominion. And I thought I thought death will have no dominion. Maybe that poet hasn't been born yet in this timeline. Explore the catacomb complex on the stone market and procure the fabled ruby Aldrius's demise. Hope it doesn't become Hume's demise as well. One of the heirs to the Nwarakwe merchant family is after a necklace in labor sapphire supposedly kept by one of her long dead ancestors. This could fetch a nice little bonus. Get a hold of it. Rumour has it that an aristocrat, Simon Albrecht, was buried with his armour in these tombs. A piece featuring his house's crest would be very lucrative on the black market. The stone market merchants interred here don't need their riches anymore. They won't mind if you rob the tombs for at least 1600 worth of valuables. Well, maybe the ones wandering around moaning will mind, but you know, I know how to deal with them. Although your stay in stone market will be brief, there's still no need to kill anyone. <clears throat> yeah, fair enough. When your tasks are complete, return to where you started. And wait while we descend into the loading zone. That's what coffee's good for. I should drink my coffee and then go... Like uh, Hume does, just for maximum verisimilitude. Keep the immersion going. We've got a tip. Tracy, one of your acquaintances claims he knows something about the catacombs. It comes at a price. You know what? I'll pay the price because I'm. Um, it's a curiosity price for me, right? And I want healing potions. Do I want flash bombs? I don't really value flash bombs against the undead much. I might take a couple of mines instead. I've got quite a lot of money. I don't love holy water. It's just like waste. You need so many water arrows, and it's just like kind of wasteful. I prefer to avoid when I need to. Most arrows, I think I'm good. It's only two hundred though. If I grab a couple of fire arrows. One holy water and two more waters. I mean, that's something. Is that a good set? It doesn't feel quite 100% good to me. I think 
Back off on that. We'll stock up on water instead. There we are. 14 waters. We can use one thumb for holy water if we need to. Kind of an emergency situation. Fire arrows, also for emergencies. Mines, if we get stuck in a tight corner and need to get out. I think this is going to be good. <clears throat> I might regret not having flash bombs, but I guess we'll see. Oh, he looks like he's having fun there. Alright, what's our tip say? In addition to being used to bury the dead, the lower tombs are also used for funeral ceremonies and feature at least two chapels with specially blessed holy water pumps, which the resident smith used to bless holy symbols and weapons. This could be useful to you if there is water left in them. I suppose it could be useful. Not sure that was worth 200 gold, to be quite honest, saying you might stumble across some holy water pumps. But it makes me feel better about not purchasing any more holy water. Now well, let's, let's leave this here on, on top of the statue for the next would be visitor. So upper Tombs extension, Grimworth extension, Grey Warden's Vigil. Lower Tombs. This is a pretty detailed map to be honest. If it's accurate. Extremely detailed. Map by Brother Brutus, Master Cut Operator in 729. It's not quite the Alaris extension, the Aldrius extension. Sure that something that comparison was made. Alright. Um I guess that's where we came from. Ralph Day on that apothecary. Will we start on the streets? Wait a minute, it says enter here, but we have where is there? I'm not opposed to studying on the streets, but, uh, hello. <sighs> Some foolish rich person left the, left the door open here, hello. wonder what the noise was. Are you walking into a banner? I hate bloody rats. I oh. can't believe this. This awful air turned my silk handkerchief black. This guy has quite the weapon there. The City Tribune, the Iron King, dead at 81. Leopold Grand Modern, known by his moniker the Iron King, died of old days yesterday evening at his high town palace, surrounded by his family and his priest. Lord Grand Modern was, like his father and his grandfather before him, at the helm of a vast iron mining and smelting empire. His son Leopold is set to succeed him. The last month of his life, Lord Grand Morden spent in preparation for the Jubilee Ball to commemorate the 20th anniversary of its Hightown estate. The event which is to take place this recidivist will now also be hosted by his son. More on page 8. Voxville drainage system, perfectly fine, official says. The city is bracing for the yearly heavy rains of Vinificus and Voxville district is no exception. A thorough renovation of the canals and overall drainage system of the wealthiest district of Stone Market was conducted earlier this year by Colton Brokeri, the head of the Public Works Division of Stone Market. Brokeri was quoted as saying, We at the Stone Market Public Works Division are more than ready, and I and my men are not Clark's band of amateurs. The citizens of Voxville can rest assured the infrastructure will prevent floodings. The drainage system is perfectly fine, if I do say so myself. More on page 18. <laughs> He seems to be looking this way. I frankly, come up to my standards, if you ask me. But he just seems to turn more this way. Does he? Does he turn at all? Oh, hello, I see something valuable there that I missed. <sighs> These ladies really don't understand anything. Got that? Oh my god, great start to look good. All right, I want to see if I sneak in, sneak out this whole way. Without being spotted. Did a shadow just move? Did I just make a loud noise? Well, nothing. Again. Who's that?
This just gives them the street where I started, I'll be a little annoyed that I just missed the door like that. Yep. Oh well. I guess it makes it easy to get out. Oh my god, this flashing light is horrendous. <coughs> People would not. Will you quit making noise? <laughs> <clears throat> That's nice. Can I get a rope up in there myself? Is the question. That's not right. <clears throat> why, is, why is that not working for a rope? Reload. How is it going working up there? I mean, it could be stacking all these crates. God, that flashing light is horrendous. Like, I get that this guy's supposed to be uh, fixing it. Maybe. But, uh, yeah, why does that not work? I don't know. Maybe that's why the rope broke when we tried to climb up. <clears throat> I mean, there's a lot of crates if I wanted to stack crates, but... <sighs> go... <sighs> on, on, on the beam there, Hume. Yeah, whatever. Let's leave it to its business. I'm tired of seeing the running man stop in the name of the Baron. What are you tapping about? Well, you know, when you showed halt in the name of the Baron. Oh, of course not. That's what arrows are for. Halt in the name of the Barrow. No, wait. I mean, the name of the Barrow. The name of the Barrow. The name of the. This is really a confusing job. Now, are you guys upset with random street wanderers? Hey, man. What's going on? Just inspecting the gardens. It's important work, you know. I like that. The mouth is uh, drained. That's a nice touch. A really nice touch. Please end. It's no use having street names if we don't have a map to connect them to, right? Pete Elsmore Clockmaker. Hmm. I thought I was supposed to be going into some kind of catacombs, but I guess we have other business. A very important business that must be attended to sooner. Can I, where, where am I going to make this jump from? <sighs> apples? Very good to take into undead tombs. The undead hate apples. Not a door. So it's still the same faces again. Don't want to do all? No. Is there any reason to climb this ladder? Probably not. I mean, is there even anyone at home? It doesn't seem so, so I guess I'm worrying about making noise a little too much. Will it be bright? You don't need to hide it anymore. I know you won't be able to pay what you owe me for a while. I learned from a good source that you are in deep trouble with some warden. I, however, can lend you more coins for a very small interest in exchange for but a small service. Do you know that guy called Broderick? The wife is pestering me for one of them fancy spirulian gemstone powered lamps. Said her sight diminished ever since she gazed far too long into the fires from the burning stakes. Crazy woman. Anyway, back to Broderick. He's a jewel attending his shop at Grime Street. A real parsimonious scallywag if I ever saw one. I have tried repeatedly to get him to accept my generous offers to purchase one of them, 
but cold stares and long silences were the only answers I got from him. I tried to scare him a little, throw stones at his stained glass windows or piss on his doorstep. I don't really care. I want him to be fearful enough so he'll want to get rid of that precious gemstone, and I'll be there to buy it off him naturally. But you better remember this. While you do your work, someone somewhere in the vast stonework next to his place could be watching you. You certainly don't want that. Yeah. Grime Street, huh? Jeweler. Do we get to Grand Grime Street in this mission or any other? Who knows? Only time shall tell. Those candles on top there, are they valuable candles? <sighs> it doesn't look like it. No. Nice place this guy's got here. There's like this little columns here. I guess they're everywhere. Did I hit the banner? No, I hit this thing. Well, a good thing there's no one at home, otherwise that would have woken the dead. We're gonna have enough of them later on. Oh, I probably should get my rope there, huh? Well, uh, maybe I can get down with safety. Yeah, this will be fine. These nice solid trees the city grows. Most people jacks delight. That looks like maybe where I need to be going. You're not the jeweler I'm coming to rob, are you? <coughs> candle seller. Hello, do you have any candles for me? You've got, uh, quite the nose there. There's a strange feature mm. in the city. Most people are, uh, a little less nosy. <coughs> Don't take this the wrong way. I'm curious what you got in your back room. Do you have a key, though, is the question. You've got a knife, you've got a, uh... Open window. To somewhere. That was not a mantle. What's that? It's just me. Never mind. Glad it was nothing. Do you have a key on you, actually? Did I look? This is just the same cemetery area, that's not going to help me. <sighs> Great, going to make noise. Did, did you say something? No, it was, didn't help me. Oh noise, well, uh. sorry. Guess it was nothing. <coughs> you don't have a key on you. Who was that there? I saw <sighs> something. Oh, right, she's now... Sorry, nothing here now. She's now spooked by my presence because I've been... Glad it was nothing. Places I shouldn't be. Hmm. I want to open your door there, ma'am. Someone there? <sighs> Never mind. Oh, well. <laughs> Too many imaginings. Let's go find some zombies, shall we? Damn. Sons are in here. Looks like these guys haven't come back yet. I'm gonna need to find that ruby before them. Competition. That just makes it more exciting here. Maybe I should have had those flashbombs out. If we could come across other humans, that would be uh, <sighs> useful to have such things. Hey, he's my old friend, Death. How are you doing? What do you see this fine day? Nothing, really, nothing. <sighs> oh, hello. 
That's not nothing. That's something. Speaking of death, hello, skull. Skull painting. Live looking at cemetery. How appropriate. <sighs> well, look at that. 68 loot. And we haven't even set foot underground yet. Oh, wow. One of them didn't even make that. The entrance or what? Let's hope this rope doesn't disappear on us like the last one. All right, boys and girls, we've talked about this a bit, now, but now I am absolutely certain that Algeus's demise should be somewhere within these tombs. Barlow went for some digging last night and found us a way in. Remember that we've been promised a huge sum of money if we manage to get it, so we'd better get to work. Besides, we can plunder the other vaults with no repercussions. I know you're all familiar with this whole grave robbing business, but I feel that I need to remind you of the rules since our last accident with Rogier. Make sure nobody follows you when you're coming. The local watchdogs have been bribed by, by our employer should leave us alone. Still, we don't want any witnesses, and Montsegur isn't aware of our operation. Let's make sure it stays that way. Do not talk, and watch your step. Being noisy in ancient catacombs like that is guaranteed death. We know almost nothing about the place, so be even more vigilant than usual. Follow only the paths Ernestine and Barlow Marcus sing. These two are extraordinary scouts. If you hear strange sounds or see someone who isn't us, get the tap away. If I see you trying to hide something, I'll break your bones and leave you on the spot. Don't stray off too much. If you ain't outside after sunrise, we consider you gone and we skedaddle. Too bad if you're just late, we can't take any risks. When we're done, we don't know you and you don't know us until another wealthy crook needs our services. Here's a reminder of the signs we use. An upward arrow means that the room is safe. A downward arrow means that the room is trapped, so proceed with caution. A cross means tapping moving corpses, so don't go that way. Another thing, tonight's undead bait is just some random lowlife tagging with us thinking he's off to easy money. No need to feel too concerned about him, just trip him if the corpses are after us. Whisker. Huh. Undead bait. Are they talking about me? Are they talking about this guy? That room is safe, I guess. Oh, we've definitely got some noises in here. Actually, one thing before <sighs> I uh, go. Is there anything on that pedestal? Was that statue? Doesn't look like it. Okay. And the torches are lit. How nice of them. So if they're not going to be talking, I'm going to have a lot of trouble knowing if we're about to find them, right? Trapped room. Okay, let's have a look at the map. Let's see where we are. We just came in from west. Are we here? That's the trap room. Yeah, it does look like this is where we are. Just buzzes. How is the room trapped? Oh, I mean, yeah, those are quite obvious traps there. Strangers may pause to mark those as who repose below. Perchance a good friend may read, perchance a foe. What can they learn that fallacy and trust, rancor and malice, end in dust to dust? that triggered, I don't know. It was not a pressure plate that I was expecting. Well, it did not get me, so that's all good. Oh, it's um, some distance vertically from here.
<sighs> Hiram, the front action has failed. We're in deep. The bullock in charge got caught by the Baron's hounds. We can only bl blame bad luck this time. A couple of aristos were horse racing in an alley that was far too narrow to avoid our guy who was carrying the package and didn't see them. You can imagine what happened next. One of the horses fell down and the blue blood landed in the dirt and the mud. They didn't need anything more to yell at the guards in order to arrest our guy. We're going to find him burned alive on the plaza in the next day and probably find ourselves at the bottom of the river with iron weights attached to our feet. Unless some sort of miracle happens. Hide your sorry hide in the graveyard next to Trickbone in the meantime. There are catacombs there that were used by Mulligan and his boys when they were the bane of Stone Market. Hide inside. I'll contact you again when I have some better news. I don't think the dead are restless, but be careful nonetheless. You never know. I've heard stories about cannibal beggars and other degenerates. Probably tall tales, but as I said, you never know. Head up. Well. Somebody has been uh, collecting bones here relatively recently. Is that an ex holy water pond? Well, that may come in handy. Well, it does still work, okay. Holy wet power market. Holy cheese, too. Jump back. That's oh, fine. <sighs> All right, I guess I'm going north. Hang on. This map showed that that. Oh, that's underneath. I see. Showed that that connected, but it's under underneath. That's from here. Skulls in this place. <sighs> Just gonna find all the easy loot gone, right? Because these fellas before us. A lot of skulls up there, that's a nice touch. Okay, so this is the stairway. Uh, yeah, okay. That's, that's fine, I don't need a ribcage. It could be hiding something, you don't know, but... Hello? On the other hand, these guys are not keeping their eyes open. I guess nobody ever looks up, even... Even grave robbers. That's going east from the staircase. That's unmarked. This place is giving me a very architect's tomb vibe from um, what was the name of that mission? Contest mission. That's weird. Looks flat. Cut like it's cut out. Even marked big east west. Thing? I don't know, this feels like more forward progress than I'm quite ready to make yet. Let's carry on down the stairs a bit and cover the areas we know about. Like a safe zombie. I've been digging here. 
Or maybe the ground is just subsiding. Guess that's possible. That's that's not a uh, object you would ever find in Thief One. There's way too many polygons on that on that uh, lagon chalice thingy. Okay, so this is here. This is the door to the lower tombs going west. Oh. No, that's not the same place. And this is also goes to the lower tombs. You're right, man. Maps ahead. <sighs> Lamb. This goes up a long way. Hello. Okay, I can see places up there. I can see some potential climbing opportunities. I'm not sure how. I guess maybe we could climb along the ledge. I didn't try. In which case, I should get back, right? This is supposed to be forward progress. I'm not ready for forward progress yet. Hmm. Too many blades, too many directions to go. Yeah, these, these ledges are navigable, aren't they? Ah ha ha! He says, laughing at me, thinking these ledges are navigable. Yeah, I like that. Or maybe we should be higher. seeing any valuables. <sighs> Maybe that in that casket there that's broken open. <clears throat> if I jump instead of falling. No, I should have saved after this jump. <gasps> Alright, that's I'll take that. Not what I wanted to do. But if I'm not accidentally killing myself, there's no need to get quick load, right? <laughs> Say again. I don't know why I didn't jump there, that's and well, awkward geometry will be awkward. Ah Lots of lots of saves coming right now, because <gasps> This awkward geometry will be awkward. What did it bounce off then? Oh, the damn. Okay, maybe that's a problem. That is a big problem. Alright, that's that's my strategy being wrong there. Let's jump across here. So we can get to that one and jump across from that one. He's trying to grab the thing. He was. Hmm. Maybe this is a waste of time. And I'm gonna have trouble getting back. I should have made a proper save before doing this. <sighs> well, I mean, that's a thing. Not quite what I was trying to achieve, but... That's also not what I was trying to achieve. Ah! Well, nearly. This is, this is like... All feels okay. That's where I wanted to be. That's not where I wanted to be. It feels super awkward, and I don't, I don't like it. Am I not able to jump here? Is this the problem? No, I can jump. 
There we go. No, 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 no. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Last time I tried this nonsense. Right, so I'm hitting that and getting pushed out when I try and jump to look in. I got this guy's skull. Let's hope that was worth it. Nothing else in there. Alright, do I have a way down? There's a ledge there. We can maybe make use of that. Okay. I guess also... Run past our friend there. Let's, get, let's check out this cave. It's unmarked. But... It's clearly a uh, significant place, a significant tomb. It's high up. Who knows what loot there could be? Is that a second skull that's there? Uh, Who knows what loot there could be? It doesn't look like there's any loot buried with these guys. I think we can probably have a, we probably have some way of getting down there. Like a stairway. Sounds like a zombie now. Where? Oh, must be down below us. Oh, in the next room there. Hello? Stealing from the dead is not considered bad luck, is it? It's considered good luck, isn't it? Everyone knows. Everyone knows it's the right thing to do. Hume, don't get stuck on some damn candles. Right, do get stuck on dang candles. <laughs> east? Wait, east is where we come in, came in. Was it east or south? But east is where we came in here. Yeah. Recently doused torch. This suggests one of the uh, others came this way. Hammerites. I'm descending deeper than I planned, and I don't know where I am anymore. And that's kind of annoying me. It's a safe room in there, so they have been here. Doesn't seem to match anything on the map, right? No slower tombs. Crossroads is a little alcove. Is that showing up? Is it that that kind of level of detail? No. We're not on any of this yet. That's to the Grimoire's extension. I didn't go out that door. So we're out here somewhere.
Put my V. Where am I? Uh. That one's quite fresh. The flies usually uh, give up after a few decades. Okay, we saw this from above. There's definitely loot in there that opens to the south. Come back this way, alright. Maybe she used to stop to pray there and before death. Just retracing steps forever. There's a moaning, groaning zombie. <laughs> safe in here? Wait, they marked it as safe. But they didn't steal anything? That's a... Odd looking hammerite statue. Well, I mean, it does seem safe. I don't know how much I trust their scouts, but they do seem to know their business so far. Oh, and we're back here again. Okay. Wait, is this the same one? Did I go this way before? Yes, okay, and which way did I come in? Came in from here? Yeah, alright. So this is the way I haven't been yet. Which is south, so this might lead into the... Ah, uh, traps. This <gasps> might lead into that... room. Not a creepy statue there at all. Hmm. Is this a whole blown open? Hello, what? I triggered that? Oh, I see. I'm right on one side. Well, that's a trap. It's not overly subtle. What I was looking at is we can probably get down here. Is this wood, these little outcroppings? I don't know, and I... It like, feels like I'm going to have trouble standing on this little ledge on the inside. It looks like wood, doesn't it? Let's check with an arrow. Let's just vanish. <sighs> no, it's okay. I see it. It is wood. Let's... Right up there. No, no, no. Take the, take the broadhead arrow. Not that. Not, not the rope arrow. That one. Thank you. The hell is this? Do we have any kind of zigzag stairway marked? Yeah, we might be here, actually. Is 
That fits. That fits. Okay. Means I'm further down than I want it to be. So that's the zigzag stairway then, but then uh, the map is inaccurate. Oh, this is where I want it to be though. Skull mage statue. Were all those statues there looking in before? I don't remember them. They're certainly trying to be creepy. Hello. That actually looks survivable, which is wild. Hmm. Well, that wasn't my plan. But it was survivable. <sighs> I guess that's the good news. Oh. One of them came here. Yes, I see. So we could rope up there. <sighs> well, that guy's got nothing for us. We got here explosives. I don't know where these sounds are coming from, actually. That's a flash bomb. Guess I keep exploring. Oh, this place keeps on going down. I'd like to be systematic, but it might really not be viable in the, uh... in the current climate. Stand. Oh, this is. Just here, this doesn't, it's no use. And I suppose we're up in the side of that might be of use. <coughs> Ow, veil mantle. Grapes and apples do nothing at all. How about the cheese? Wow, down here even the magical healing power of food is a problem. Ugh. I might have done that. Yeah, I think we wasted one healing power. Oh well. Uh, I'm right, Reese. I'm told here, man. What was the Hammerite Library? Some places. What's this book you're trying to burn? What's this lever they've got? This is. Hmm. Oh. I don't know. Ah, oh, it's there, okay. Yeah, but where is there? Or we will say, oh, that's there, but... Oh, 
Oh. Uh, I was just here. Well, he got up. But that's not the lever. If I get down here, can I get back up? I think so. Why aren't you? <sighs> oh, okay, that's just going to stay out, alright. That lever doesn't really do a great deal then. I don't want to go in these deep underground buildings, I want to connect back to the known parts of the tombs first. <sighs> 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 Right, he heard the noise and was coming to investigate. Oh my god, I'm getting stuck on the damn stairs. Standing upright at a run. Absolutely hate it when that happens. <laughs> Shit, what do you expect him to see? Turn around and see me. Let's escape. Hey there. What? Nice beard. Okay, this guy's moved on. So he just walks up there and comes back. Man, I'm totally lost already. Of course, I could kill this guy, but you know, I think. Here's my take on Hume's philosophy of the undead. It's not their fault. Could have happened to anybody. All right, that's that's here. This isn't gonna get us anywhere good. So first, not to employ destructive tactics, you know, unless it's up, unless it's necessary for his own survival. All right, I guess I won't go down that hallway. It's also very nice. What is that? Look, goal 1600. That's almost halfway there. And well, every path I take here seems to bring me into these deeper underground areas. So I guess deeper underground is where we're going. Well, maybe not this way, though. It doesn't seem like a Safe way to get deeper underground. Lead deeper underground, I think maybe it did. Yeah, this was, I think we can proceed this way.
feel like we've missed like 99% of the tombs. And so the map we've got is utterly useless because of that. Okay, west. Continues that way. This goes down. So this is where I was looking down to from up there, right? No, this is something else. Hello, what's... What are these? Weird fragments or something? Yeah, it was not up there at all. Although, I can't climb that. So I guess I'm not going to try. I would need a crate. Scout around. Well, we can get out here, I guess. This, this bit of the pit looks climbable. Hmm, it also looks significant. Let's go around. Let's just check the other passage. Huh? Ugh. This is the same room. Okay. This is going down. Is this going underneath where I was? I'll take some more stuff. No, this is somewhere else I knew again. A waterfall. There seems to be a lot of water we could swim in. More water crystals. <sighs> Is that a horse that I was hearing? <sighs> Sounded weirdly like a horse. This is not <sighs> what you normally expect to hear in a deep underground. Thanks, Hume. This, oh, this is all just been, this is all really jagged, so it's bad for meddling. All angled edges, angled edges are no good for meddling. See, it slopes away from you a little bit. Oh, what was he got? A gold tooth. It's a nice touch. It's just a reskinned uh, Mystic's heart, though. Well, there's no problem with that. All right. More fire arrows. Oh, they've been here too. So they reckon that is safe, do they? Uh, what does this say? Belor. Do we have to do anything with Belor? No, I remember the name of Belor. Hang on, this is on a map. Belor Vault. Okay. We're here. Sir Thomas Bellor, Count of Rodemil. For Sir Bellor's death, leave no tear, no mourn. Thou art deceived, alive the man is still. Alive, I laugheth at death to score, in that that he his fleshy life did kill. For by such death two lives he gains for one. His soul at the Golden City doth live in joy. His work as a fame in the old world have sown, as sack nor rack his name can there destroy. Oh. Do you mind I'm trying to read? For once in earth his toil was passing great, and we devoured the sweet of all his sweat. Oh, I don't seem to be coming here. 
I did, when I just looked around there, I did notice a big trap. You miss it right there. Aimed at this chest. Oh. And there's a body right there. There's also something up there. There's a body up right there that just stood up. I don't wait. I want to see what's above you. I guess if we... That's nice. The arrow sticking in the chest. Ugh. Oh, that's not. That's not gonna be anything for us. about zombies, they don't have too much in the way of uh, brains and memories anymore. What's why there's fresh blood in this gravel though? seems to have more of a memory than most. Am I going to have to move? I noticed that to haunt with a sword, but this guy died with an arrow in his back. That's... Interesting. Spirit potion. Now that didn't seem to work. It didn't seem to do anything at all. Ma'am, do you mind? I'm... I'm trying to explore here. She's moving on. I haven't finished looting this area, that's, or at least checking for loot in this area. That's why I wanted to come back here. Like, for example, that tomb has no loot. That looks valuable. They've been given away. Slightly odd, but nothing on the hammerite altar. Okay. So this was a chapel in times past. Nice stained glass there. <laughs> ah! That's where the honor came from, I guess. That was, uh, ah. foolish of me. Right, that's where we saw the zombies. I'm gonna go, oh, it's not dark there. I wanna see where this guy patrols to. You know what? I feel like this is a pretty good place to end the episode. 
Uh, no, actually, this is a moment to move. We'll have a minute or two more. This is oh, right. This is this is here. This is this collapsed floor piece with traps that way apparently. Another place to go there. There's upstairs where the haunt was hanging out. Turns out we've got quite a few places to go. Okay, so this I guess is a pretty good place to end the episode. So thanks for watching. Next time I will, I guess, toss a coin and figure out which way I want to go. <laughs> See you soon.